Alhamdulillah. Mm. Oh, um, so for example, there are no limits. No, there's no limits. Um, so except in what we're not allowed to follow. So if you understand fiqh, usul al-fiqh, like there are things that were permitted for the Prophet ﷺ that I can't do. So he could fast um, for two days straight. So like not just like fast one day, break his fast, fast at night like we do in Ramadan, but he would fast for 48 hours or 72 hours consecutively. He told us not to do that. So he did it, but I don't do that. The Prophet ﷺ could have nine wives at one time. I'm not allowed to do that. So I, there's some things I cannot do that he did. Um, also, anything that has to do with, uh, um, that goes against the maqasid of the sharia, like al-adatul uh, muhakkama, right? Anything that is an ada. So, for example, in, in the U.S., I wouldn't marry somebody underage because it goes against the laws and the culture of that time, right? You understand? So I, I can't do something that also goes against any contract or treaty that I have with anybody, which is, in essence, actually following the Prophet Wasallam. So everything has to be put in together has to be looked at under a scope and it has to be understood in that context. So I'm not even going to put that stuff for a lot. You're banned for that. Uh, all right. Um, and he was not walking around covered in semen. That's, I mean, may Allah curse you. 